the Highlanders, we have one small problem so far this season. We can't win derby matches. That's right, we've taken them all on so far, and we are yet to get a win another, against another New Zealand team. And today, the situation gets even worse. Let's take a look at that. We're up against the Crusaders. How do we beat this team? Welcome along back everyone to Rugby Champions, our career mode with the Highlanders as we are taking on this next round of this season in Super Rugby. We are looking for win number three in round five of the competition and a good start with a couple of changes to our side as well. Those of you eagle-eyed may notice that we've made a couple of alterations to the team. As here come the Highlanders for us, chance has been absolutely bombed. That's what you just cannot afford to do against the Crusaders, although the Crusaders have made an error back. So we will take this, and we will run with it as well. Matt Fattis has got a good ball away to Yolani, and now it goes to Tavita Lee. Move from the right wing to the left. Lee, all alone out here. Oh, just about gets away. Tavita Lee working magic. The comment section were right, the wings were around the wrong way, so Lee and the hold off switch side, there's no fullback in place here, as we break away again, it's a good break from Fattis, we just can't get it away from James Lynch's, and they cover fullback again nicely, Ben Smith, he covers the number 9 play, and it's Luke Whitelock, Canterbury man himself, running at the back of this pack. Here is Fattis with a good little ball. A winner of Thompson can't break through. Let's go short. Let's go short. And, oh, I tried to bulldoze my way through. It didn't work. It didn't work. We need to score here. We need to score now. We need to score quickly. I'm not sure what that play quite was. But Lomax has got it nicely. Out the back has gone to Lee again. Oh, Lee! Inside, outside. To Lee. Try time. Highlanders are in. How about that start? Love a piece of that from Tavita Lee. Who gets the shadow boxing out? We are... We are completely running the wrong way. I'm not sure what quite happened there. We do want to try and not kick it that short anyway. That's for sure. I'm not sure what's going on there. We need to accumulate as many points as possible here. This is the Crusaders we are up against. And we have the first opening try of the game. And oh, Yoani, what a kick from the young gun and the number 10 jumper. And take a look at this Crusaders team as well. If you haven't already, have a look at their starting lineup because they've gone with Mitch Hunt over Richie Moanga, which is a bit of a surprise as we've come away to Ben Smith. And he's put in a, a deep little chip over the top. It's not what I was actually intending to do there, but I completely stuffed it up. Ben Smith on the wrong side of that play there. And a big chance now for the Crusaders to get their first attack on the way. And look how slippery they are. Man, they're slippery. Wylog, slicing through with Todd. He can't get through though. Eventually, our cover defense does a good enough job. And they go short side. We're, we're on the spot of bother. It's picked up. Oh, Matt Fattis picks up a loose ball. Fattis over halfway. He will go. And for the second try, Highland is with two. And Matt Fattis picks up from a Crusaders error. Oh, you don't see that very often. How about it by the Highlanders? We discussed it. That we have yet to beat a New Zealand team. Could this be the day? 12 nil. We are up. Matt Fattis and Tavita Lee with a try piece. And Joshua with a double conversion as well. And the Highlanders flying high early on here against... The South Island rivals in the Crusaders. We fire it away. Ben Smith up now is Lomax looking out wide for Naholo. It goes straight into touch. What an exciting matchup we've had here. It's almost half time. And I can tell you, I'm very seriously considering making these episodes double in length and going for a 15 and a half as opposed to 10. So do tell me in the comment section below. Would you like to see that on Rugby Champions? We've got an injury. Uh oh, uh oh, we have an injury. Trouble ahead, folks. The drop goal comes down from Brent Hall. 
And it's away! We've got instructions back up again. Thought I'd turn those off. What is going on? Hang on, we've got an entry. Wait on. Let's stop the game here. We've got an entry. Let's let's get turn those. Um, we want to turn the controls off. So let's just turn those controls off. But substitutions. We have an injury. Okay, so it's for loose head prop. We want to bring on the only prop we've got is, is Aiden Johnson. You may notice here. For those of you who weren't sharp eyed, eagle eyed, Daniel Leonard Brown is starting on the uh, tight end side. And we've got Squire back in at six as well. Naholo and Lee have swapped wings. We've stayed with the same midfield combination despite a little bit of conjecture. But we will be using these substitutes more in these future matches as you guys have suggested. So um, keep an eye out for that. But this, this change here has got to be Lomax off for uh, Aiden Johnston coming on. And I think we'll leave the rest for now because it's not even half time yet. So we'll get to half time. See how the match is sitting, and we'll go from there. Back to the action. A couple of minutes left till the break, and we are... I can't believe the scoreline. I cannot believe the scoreline, team. We are playing the game of our lives. This team is pretty much over 90 for the whole squad. We've got low 80s in this team, my friends. So we are humming at the moment as Leonard Brown's done a nice little job of it. If we try and change directions, it really didn't work out for us at all. Fattis. Oh, Fattis, you're running away from your support, man. But no, there's one man out there, and it is Tavita Lee, who is as sharp. Oh, it's a knife! Tavita Lee really is cooking on gas here tonight, folks. I tell you what, here is Yuani. Yuani showing. Yuani going. Yuani through the hole. Yuani is support on his outside. Ben Smith goes one more to Naholo. Naholo looks back inside. Oh, and to Aaron Smith. And the ultimate scrum half will score a third. The Highlanders, they've got three. And they are just singing a beautiful song. Under the roof here, Forsyth Bar. May not look like it's rosy for Cantabrians, but I tell you what, as we hit half time, it is Otago 21, Canterbury 0. Never thought I'd see the day. I never thought we would see the day. 21 0, half time. Let's get the second half underway. We'll look at some substitutes very, very soon to keep the squad fresh and ready to go. This could be our first. Starting on the other season, and Mataili's knocked it on. You could not dream of a better start to the half. Get excited, people. We could be getting a bonus point against the Crusaders. Not something you say very often. Here is Fannis. Oh, a little short one away. Looking for Rob Thompson. Just about Rob Thompson. Shipping in and out. Now they go out. To, it was supposed to go one shorter, and now it's been knocked on by, uh, by sucking the holo out on the wing. And our chance for the bonus point is, is quickly gone as it arrives. Brent Hall, well, he's gone short. That's a real disaster there from Brent Hall. Turnover! Hyland is still it back. Let's keep it tight, boys. Coltman charging as Coltman. It's Squire, in fact. Oh, Liam Squire! How about some of that muscle from the Marco himself? Liam Squire bulldozes through the defensive line to get the bonus point try to the Highlanders. Well, this has been majestic. One of the great Otago Highlanders displays of all history so far. And Yuani, well, he proves they are human, in fact, by just sliding that one outside the left hand upright. It's been spilt and it's been picked up. And this could be an instant reply here for the Crusaders. Luke Romano getting a lucky bounce, but it's. The Highlanders who have had most of them in this match already as Hunt goes wide to Reed. And look at the names starting to line up out here. Michaleo. Goes with a five for the Crusaders. They go short and it's Hunt getting it from Tafua. And three jump on him. Great short passing. It's going to be a try it is. Crusaders finally over. And we'll go to the scrum half. Brent Hall right under the sticks. This one is not over. And you know what? I forgot to make my substitutes because I was that excited about how we were playing. Let's get the whole bench on, shall we? Josh Dixon. Oh, really? We can't make more than one? Oh, sorry. Uh, Josh Dixon. It's not Ash Dixon. Right, right, right. Josh Dixon, come on for... Himopo is pretty average to be fair. He's not done much for us. 
Frizzell could come on at number eight for Luke. Bryn Gatlin could come on for Yuani. And Umanga Jensen, here's a guy I want to see what he can do. Matt Fattis has been, see, tell you what, Matt Fattis has been outstanding. But Rob Thompson has been rather average. And Buckman, who is comfortable with this outside centre, let's bring him on for Naholo because he does spend some time on the wing. So there you go, folks. I almost forgot, but we've got a full array of substitutes coming on the field. Better late than never. Um, that's one way to put it. Let's get on with the game. The conversion will come in there from Mitch Hunt. It goes over. And the changes, yes, they are in plenty now as we see Bryn Gatlin on the field for the Highlanders. The full bench is on. But we do have our first injury of the season. Tyrell Lomax is the man. We've got our, we've got our bonus points. So things couldn't be going better for us as Habili finds Moody and more. That is a crunching tackle. Saving the day there is Luke Amano. I would love another try. My goodness, I would love another try. Here come the Crusaders. They're keen to run this from anywhere and everywhere at the moment on the field. We are putting them under pressure, but we have no one wide. They keep it tight, and eventually it's kicked away from another All Black. Jack Good, who finds, oh dear, a mistake by Ben. Ben, what are you doing? Well, this Canterbury have nine points. I think we've just found a bug. That the, uh, the, I'm going to have to look into that. But I think somehow we've given Canterbury some free points by making substitutes. Oh, it's Fattis. Who cares about the points here? Because we are humming away. Thomas Umanga Jensen. It's a, got some freebies, but we are looking on a tip-top form at the moment of the Highlanders. We're trying to work out what they've done. They've got four points. So they've doubled their conversions somehow. Here is Ash Dixon out in the wing. He tried to sidestep. Not the smartest move he's ever done. We are almost done for time here, folks. As Josh Dixon off floats to Matt Fattis. Looking to put Umanga Jensen. We've got another in Jensen. Crusaders player, however. And Buckman is going to lose the pill. He's not. Somehow he's not. Fattis will pick up. And we're going back. I don't know what actually for. I'm kind of confused as to what's going on here. Here is Aaron Smith running into Lynch's. Aaron Smith running away from Lynch's. Aaron Smith running away from everyone. Gets it short to Josh Dixon. What are we playing here? We are playing some unworldly type of rugby at the moment. Here is Gatlin. And it is Aaron Smith who's tried to force his way through. But in a, a bit of a sticky spot there. Time is up. To find a way to Matt Fattis who's just about got away from another tackle Matt Fattis is just having an extraordinary game here now he looks left side Dixon away to Leonard Brown who's trying to shape his way let's get this short shall we I like what we can do with these big boys Putty Putty Parkinson away to Fattis not quite able to break the line there we don't want to go with the big boys we go to Gatlin oh Gatlin cut in half quick ball can't get quick ball I like what we're getting here from the likes of Frizzell. Oh, just mistimed that charge. Just a touch. Now let's open it up, team. Out wide they go. Fattis, short to Smith in the line. Great ball away to Aaron Smith as well. And finally out wide it is to Buckman. Buckman with one to beat. Buckman looking for a little bit of a grubber. Oh, he gets away with it as well, this Buckman. And behind it goes to Telfoa, who shrugs away one. Excellent work there from Sean Telfoa. Crusaders under pressure. They give it away to Bridge, who goes to Hans and runs and just about gets away. We would love the ball back. I would love another try. Can we keep the pressure on these boys? The Crusaders are not ones to give up. Oh, Jinking and driving away. It's Havili. Havili up to halfway. One to beat Havili. And it will be David Havili that breaks the heart of Hollanders fans looking for one more try. They won't get it. But I tell you what, the Crusaders will not be getting as a bonus point. That's right, time is up. We should have kicked it out. We've taken our four tries. We've got our bonus point. We should have just said, see you later. Because the Highlanders have defeated the Crusaders in round five of Super Rugby. And we have our first derby victory of the season. What a game. What a time to turn up against the team 
like the Crusaders. Wow! I am just absolutely flabbergasted. What a game this has been by the Highlanders. Tavina Lee, look at him go! Every inch of the field. And his sidestep was deadly as anything you've seen before. Lomax here, look at this. Inside, outside, beats two defenders. One was a blindside flanker, Taufua most likely. But um, still, to carve up Harvili like that was something special out of the top draw. Oh, this try, absolutely brilliant. I could watch these highlights all day long. Matt Faddis picking up the loose ball and cantering 60, 70 metres to score the try for the Highlanders. Okay, team. Let's have a look at some stats. We wrap this one up. Four tries to two. Let's be fair, that last one was a gift as we just couldn't quite um, get ourselves over that advantage line. We dominated possession, though. We let them have territory, but we love that ball in hand. That is what the Highlanders live for. Missed tackles by Canterbury. 17 to just four by the Highlanders. We were singing a beautiful song, as I said earlier. We were hot. We were on fire. And we have disposed of the Crusaders. Liam Squire, Aaron Smith, Tavita Lee, and Matt Fattis. All tuning up the band to a very sweet song. You are only three out of four. And for the Crusaders, Bryn Hall and David Harvey with one apiece. And it was uh, Mitch Hunt with one conversion. And Bryn Hall with an unsuccessful drop goal very early on in the match as well. But I tell you what, this man, Matt Faddis, man of the match. Thank you very much for coming. We were about to drop him as well. I was, con I was contemplating putting Umanga Jensen in. But the faith has been repaid. Matt Faddis is a hero. I tell you what, team, I don't think there's a sweeter feeling in Super Rugby as a Highlanders fan than to beat the Crusaders. And that is exactly what we have just managed to do. As you know, when we win, we get the bonus point. We tick up the skill, attribute, and recruitment points quite nicely. And you can see them in the top left corner of your screen. Skills are now 12, attributes 9, and recruitment a tasty 20 points. We have handed the Crusaders their first loss of the season. And I tell you what, that feels good. The flip side is, though, we've lost two ourselves. And we've lost to Wellington, the Hurricanes, and the Waikato Chiefs. Bonus points really is what's doing the job for us. We do, of course, have the injury. Um, a niggly injury to Tyrell Lomax. Um, but let's have a look at the results from round five first. Um, the Hurricanes over the Chiefs, 12-0. Uh, it was the Brumbies who took out the Waratahs, 14-7. And the Jaguars beating the Stormers. The Reds over the Sunwolves. How about that result there, though? 26-14, Otago, the Highlanders, over the Crusaders. And then finally, the Melbourne Rebels. Well, they travelled and they took out the Lions. That is one hell of a win for the Melbourne Rebels. Probably the only Australian team doing any good. We'll have a little look. At how they are traveling. Let's look at the conferences. We see New Zealand there. Um, Canterbury still top, but it is quite close between. How about over in Australia? There we go. Canberra. So the Brumbies are top by quite a margin as well. And we can see the Waratahs second, nine points further adrift. And another six point back are the Rebels and the Sunwolves. So the Rebels, that was actually their first win which is quite a surprise over the Lions. And then the Reds at the bottom there, one win for them as well on just a lowly four points. We will look forward to round six in just a second. But for those of you from the great land of Argentina and South Africa, it is Aguares who are top five out of five wins. And they are comfortably at the top ahead of the Bulls, Stormers, Sharks, and then the Lions woefully down there. And the bottom without a win yet. Maybe that's going to be a stream save idea. Save the Lions. I like that. I like save the Lions. Save the Lions and get them their first Super Rugby title. That is one for the future, I do think. Tell me what your thoughts are in that, uh, about that in the comments section as well. Round six. We are on the road. We are up against the Blues. The lowly Auckland Blues. Unable to pick up a win. Just a one bonus point so far. That is what we've got to look forward to. Let's have a look at our inbox because we've got a little bit of 
news here. Um, Tyro Lomax has uh, picked up an injury. We know about that. He is out for a week. So we'll take him out. Top performers for the big win against the Crusaders. Matt Fannis, no surprise. Aaron Smith and Liam Squire. Next match up, we've got to look out for Sonny Bill Williams, Michael Collins, and Milani Nanai. Well, there you go, team. What an episode it has been. An absolute stunner. Thankfully, though, we don't have to pick between Lucy and tight end props. It is just prop. So we put our next best prop in here, which is Aiden Johnson, the 22-year-old. We'll slot in at loose head. And uh, who are we going to put on the bench? Leonard Brown can stay there. And do we put uh, Siati Tokalahi on or Josh Yusefa Scott? I mean, Yusefa Scott's played a game already, so let's put uh, Tokalahi on the, the bench to get some time. Uh, the rest of the team, you know what? At this stage, I'm leaving it as it is. But... Leave me down in the comments below what you guys think about changing anyone. Uh, we'll give some guys some chances throughout the rest of the team. Although, we could change it up a bit as well. Because we've got um, Josh McKay, who I might make the outside back replacement. Instead of uh, Richard Buckman. And maybe we'll play around this. Umanga Jensen got a game. I would like to give some time to the likes of uh, C.O. Tompkinson um, and Ty Warden as well. But uh, C.O. Tompkinson... He can go on for the centre replacement for the next match as well. Um, still saving up our points, so I'll let me know your thoughts on those. But today, that is it. Done and dusted for today's episode. Profile is one to look at. There is Tyrell Lomax, 23 years old. Of course, real life, he is off to the Hurricanes in 2020. So I'm pretty happy we can keep hold of this kid because he is something special for New Zealand rugby. That is it for today's episode. A cracker, a stunner, a beauty on Rugby Champions. Of course, let me know your thoughts about the game and the matchup in the comments below. Anything you'd like to see me change about the team or adjust um, with the players, personnel, players we could sign. Of course, let me know those as well in the comments section below. But for this episode, it is done. It is dusted. And I'll see you all next time for more from the Highlanders on Rugby Champions. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.